If you're vaccinated and boosted, you are highly protected. So there's no excuse, no excuse for anyone being unvaccinated. This continues to be a pandemic of the unvaccinated. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, you ought to know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so we have to talk about Donald Trump's first public appearance after being shot in the face, shot in the head, okay? He goes to the RNC. This is moments after he had announced his uh, VP pick, J.D. Vance. And um, he comes out and the crowd goes crazy. Please welcome the next president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Now we have Chris Wallace here. Chris Wallace used to be with Fox, and now he's over there at the Cartoon News Network, CNN. But even he, he had to acknowledge the the electri electrifying presence of Donald Trump coming from moments of losing his life. And he had to come out and meet the crowd. And Chris Wallace says this. Winston Churchill famously said, nothing is so exhilarating as to be shot at without effect. And you can see that today, the idea that just hours ago, a few days ago, this man, an assassin's bullet whizzed by him, hit him in the ear, inches from his temple. And he'd be just by the slightest fraction of an inch, he survived, shot at without effect. And you can see the the uh, joy of this crowd. Uh, I got to tell you, as somebody who's been covering these uh, these conventions since 1964, that may have been the most electric moment I ever saw. That was quite extraordinary. You, you, whether you like the man or not, that was... Well, I mean, this is a crowd. These are tens of thousands of people who, who love Donald Trump, and they almost lost him. Uh, this this figure that 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 figure is so prominently in their lives, and and it's so interesting tonight. There has been zero talk about the the Democrats and rhetoric and political rhetoric and them blaming the media, and it's all been talk about divine providence, a miracle, and and I think that's what most of these people view is that it is by the grace of God that Donald Trump is here tonight and representing them going forward. Yeah, shot at. Without a fact. Yes, Chris Wallace, that was a good Winston Churchill quote there. Now, we have 
uh, Dana, UFC owner here, and he's going to explain how Donald Trump is a badass. Go. I've been saying this forever about this guy. He is one of the toughest, most resilient human beings that I have ever met in my life. And let me tell you what, everybody wants to act like a tough guy, right? Everybody wants to act like a tough guy. Well, when the shit goes down, you find out who, who tough guys are and who tough guys are not. This guy is the legitimate, ultimate American badass of all time. You know, the guy takes a shot at him. He goes down. He stands up. And then he starts chanting to the crowd and, and you know, fight, fight, fight. I, I, I literally was blown away. I, I called him uh, as soon as I landed. I called him and he answered and he was already home from the hospital. And we talked for like 30 minutes. Pat, I just fucking, I'm telling you, I have never known a human being like this in my life. He is literally one of the toughest, most badass guys of, of all time. And listen, you, you don't like him. You can say whatever you want about him. It is undebatable now. Literally undebatable. This, this a sniper tried to take a shot at him and missed him by millimeters. A bullet through the ear. I had a buddy in Boston when we grew up, and a bunch of guys tried to kill him one night outside of a, a bar. And uh, he was never the same again. He was never the same. He literally moved out of South Boston and, and, and went down South Shore and was never the same again mentally after that happened to him. This guy is almost 80 years old. The guy tried to blow his head off. And, and, and to have the reaction that he did when he got up, I'm, I, I, this guy's been a friend of mine for 25 years. He's one of the greatest human beings I've ever met. He's an unbelievable friend. And he is forever now the ultimate American badass. That picture that you just showed will go down in history 100 years after we're dead. Now we have Tucker Carlson here. He was talking at the Heritage Foundation. And he is explaining how... Donald Trump is more popular now, not even with the base, beyond the base now. Let's be honest, Trump just won. He won. Not only did he survive an assassination attempt, he stood up without knowing whether there were other shooters there. He stood up and faced the crowd and raised his hand and said, fight, fight, fight. That's it. <laughs> you do that, you win. And by the way, I happen to notice that the crowd, which also didn't know whether there were other shooters who watched Trump get shot in the face, they did not bolt. It wasn't like a fire in a theater, actually. They, they sat there, they watched him intently, and when he stood up, they applauded him, and many cried. Why is that? Because a brave leader gives his people heart. That's why. That's exactly why. So with that, Trump became president. I bet my house on it. And he defeated the Democrats. And on merit, by the way, not through the usual political scheming, I'll trade you a Senate seat for your vote. No. He did it by being a man in a nation of people who weren't quite, just being honest, okay? He acted like a man, the kind of man I respect, and I think every person feels this way, every person, no matter what you think of Trump. Because leadership isn't actually all about, you know, the way you talk. It's about how brave you are. That's what people want. They want a brave leader. And that's the epitome of Donald Trump's aura. Americans are tired of the soy boys, men yes. who are running around in dresses, acting like women. No. We are tired of this rhetoric here. We need some real men. We need some real leadership. And they are afraid of this toxic masculinity over here. He's a man's man. Man, man is damn near 80 years old. And he's pumping his fist after being shot in the face. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Come on, man. This guy's a man's man. We don't need no more feminazis out here, male feminazis. You want to be a male feminazi? You go over to the Democrat side. You don't know which restroom to use? You go over there to the Democrat side. You want fair and equal outcomes? You go to the Democrat side. We're looking for leaders. We're looking for winners over here at the conservative Republican side. We don't need no more excuses from you guys. We have a lot of problems in our country because of 
males like you. Making more excuses than the women. No! So this right here, Mr. Trump represent real manhood. And we're missing that. A lot of you women are looking for where all the real men at. Woo! And here you go, got a real man, and then y'all, y'all hate him. Come on, man. So, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. See that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you sore boys, get your ass off my lawn.